Welcome to part two of this week's update. And welcome to our kitchen, welcome to our faithful Thermos flask and kettle. And why am I showing you those little things? Well, we wanna do some very short little social media clips over the coming weeks and days to say, this is one of the things that we're doing to help reduce our fuel bill. And obviously, obviously from looking at this stuff, fill up the kettle first thing in the morning, fill up the Thermos flask from the kettle, don't have to put the kettle on again for any more hot drinks during the morning, hopefully day. And that's one of the things that I'm gonna do um, to help reduce my fuel costs. And maybe you've got some quite inci incisive or simple little ideas that we could share on social media as well, just to help people get a view of some of, the, or join in, the, join in the discussion really, about some of the things that would really help. So if you can do that, that'd be great. We're also gonna do some stuff with churches. Hey, uh, churches and communities and, and individuals, what can you do to help others? Well, obviously support your local food bank. Uh, it could be that actually uh, you could get involved in your local food bank. Actually, may, if it's a church, for example, then actually getting them to pray and things like that. So we're gonna come up with a few little whizzy ideas for that. And uh, I know that some of the, you are already starting to share ideas on social media. So we'll get into the flow over the next couple of weeks around that. Other things just to share with you, um, delighted to hear how well the smile uh, pool day at the greenhouse went last week. Uh, they're amazing. Rachel, Donna and Lucy were doing a fabulous job with 50 mums came along during the day to have a swim and just have a bit of R&R. &R. Thank you for doing that. And I know this week uh, you're off to Longmead. So uh, well done, uh, I hope that goes really well. And indeed you've done some cook bags for the next few weeks. So I was talking to someone at the Poverty Truth Commission who'd been involved in packing those bags and just a real blessing. They just enjoyed being a part of it and uh, having two courses. So there's, uh, there's a main course and then I think there's some sort of flapjack that they're gonna make together. And having, uh, we're really keen to see the videos that come back from the mums about how they've been cooking that. So great little idea to help a whole, whole raft of mums, indeed there's, uh, there's at least one Ukrainian in there uh, through this summer. And uh, in talking of food, obviously it's community meal this week at uh, Christchurch Food Bank. Sarah and Tracy and the team, uh, each fortnight they do a community meal down at uh, God First and uh, praying for you, that goes really well. And uh, some other news just to let you know that the third Hope Into Action house has been bought, hooray! It's, uh, everything's been exchanged and everything's been done, so we now have a house in Throop and uh, the organiser uh, will be sorting out the lease from the investors. And uh, this just this last Saturday, I know that David and Joe were training the church team, St Paul's Throop, to be ready to welcome a family in. So really hopeful that in the next month we'll be seeing uh, another family housed in Bournemouth, which is great. And uh, on the back of that, we're doing some work with some Mungos. Um, you know that David's been doing some great work trying to bring the church together in the, the We're Here network. Well, St Mungo's are really keen this winter to have two church buildings in Bournemouth, maybe one in Christchurch, which they can use if the weather does go really bad. And so we're talking with some churches who are up for that. And uh, please, wouldn't it be great to get a volunteer team who are ready to come on shift, so to speak, a, a, a sweat response team if and when the weather gets bad. So if you know people who might be interested in being involved in that, then uh, give Rachel B a shout because uh, David will be liaising with Rachel to get that team in place. Anyway, just some really, it's, I mean, it's just really encouraging to me to see that or even through the summer, there are new things, there are ideas, there are really practical ways that you're getting alongside individuals. So thank you for that. And uh, I'm just loving this, uh, this little verse I found again. On, it's, there's, every week there's a little verse that comes up on my, on my uh, phone, which just seems really pertinent. And this one says, keep your eyes open, hold tight to your convictions, give it all you've got, be resolute, Love without stopping. I love that phrase, love without stopping. This is the message version of 1 Corinthians 6. And actually, it's, if you look at it in the full context of the chapter, it's in between Paul having a chat about, all oh, these people are good and all oh, these people are good. And uh, it just seems pertinent, doesn't it, that that's one of the things we need to keep going with in between the conversations we're having, to love without stopping. Well, you were great at doing that. And thank you for your ideas that uh, maybe even do better than the, uh, the Thermos idea, but uh, look forward to hearing more of those ideas. Talk soon.